This video is about automated deployment of Cisco UCS X series with Intersight Ansible. The integration of Cisco Intersight and Ansible by Red Hat provides a software defined approach to the management of the entire hardware and software stack. The solution delivers some significant benefits. You can orchestrate all of the steps needed to configure the full range of Cisco UCS, UCS X, Hyperflex, and Converge infrastructure products. As a result, you achieve faster build times because the entire application stacks can be provisioned automatically in minutes. You can also automate inter-site policies, resource pools, and resource profile configuration, and ongoing management, including the ability to detect and remediate unintended changes. You can download the Ansible collection for Intersight on GitHub under Cisco DevNet. Now let's move to an example how you can automate the deployment of a Cisco UCS X series chassis. So here's an example playbook of one of the latest CVDs with UCS X, and in that case with OpenShift and Red Hat Self Storage. So as you can see, there are a couple of main playbooks which are divided into various steps here. So let's go to the setup UCS chassis, the main playbook. And as you can see, we call a role which is called UCS chassis. So in that role UCS chassis, we define then a couple of tasks. And those tasks are, for instance, creating IP pools, MAC pools. But we start first with the main playbook, the main.yaml file. So in that main.yaml file, we have a task where we call the organization, and then we have subtasks where we, uh, one after the other, call the sub playbooks in terms of creating IP pools, MAC pools, and so on. So let's move to a specific task, in that case, the MAC pool. So in that task, we have the login to enter site defined, and then we call the API where we want to create actually the Mac pools. And we need for that, of course, a name for the policy. We need the assignment order and a block from which from what we want to start on. And of course, the size. And we need also the organization here. So there are, of course, other playbooks as well, for instance, assigning profiles and deploy the profile then. Now let's actually run the playbook. So in this playbook, we configure the UCS chassis. So in the beginning, of course, what I said, we create a couple of policies like UUID pool policy, MAC pool policy. And then after we created all the policies, we wait for the assignment of the chassis profile to a specific chassis. And after that has happened, we start then deploying actually the chassis profile to that specific chassis. Now let's then move over to see how that an enter site looks like. Now in the beginning, we created the pools for the UCS chassis like Mac pool, UUID pool, and IP pool. And then after creating the policies for it, we create the profile and assign it to the specific chassis, as you can see here. And then it's getting deployed, which means it's getting validated. And finally, if everything is okay, the profile gets deployed and we see finally a green check mark. Thank you for watching the video automated deployment of Cisco UCS X series with Intersight Ansible.